Hey guys, this is Coach Andrea with iOnTheDaycare.com, and I've got a question for you. Are you at a place in your childcare business where you're ready to expand and you really don't know how? Are you at a place in your business where you just feel like something must be wrong with you because you've tried everything you know and it's still not working? Well, let me tell you a story about my current client, LaShawn Carter. LaShawn owns and operates a childcare program called Tiny Tigers Learning Center. She has an online store um, where you can go and visit the education station, the education station, that's it. And um, she also has an off-site store, a supply store that's adjacent to her child care program and teachers and child care owners from around the world do business with her. And I want to tell you her story because I know that you hear all of these amazing things that she's doing now. But the truth is, she started out frustrated just like where you are. When she started out, she was a child care teacher for Child Care Network. And she had started working for different companies. She had worked for some restaurants, fast food. And she had done a few other things, you know, just by me listening to her story of her telling me. And then she started taking care of kids out of her home. And her enrollment just grew, 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 and she knew she needed to do something. I mean, she had a lot of kids in her in her home, her town home. And she told her husband, she said, oh, we are going to buy our own home. So they bought their first home, and she did daycare from there. And she, and she came to a Build It Big conference. This is so awesome, guys. When she came to the Build It Big conference, I had no idea of who she was. There were some financial challenges there where she couldn't freely invest. So, of course, I would see her sh show up on some of our free offers. Um, and I may have seen her show up to a few low-end paid things, but just never, you know, as a VIP client. And I remember um, she was with someone, and she got blessed to come to the Build It Big conference. Now, this is back in 2015. Um, when she was able to come to the conference. Well, when she came, I had this overwhelming gut feeling that I should impart and pray for her. So we went through our morning glory that we do at every conference, and I laid hands on her, and I prayed for her, and I heard God tell me that she would have her child care center, and it would be a great success. Well, lo and behold, we didn't stay connected because, you know, life happens. And then... Um, Years later, when I see her again, she now has her child care center, and um, things look so good in her center. Things were going well with her, and then she needed to start putting systems in place. So that's when she started investing in the coaching program, and I mean everything that we offered in 2020. 20, 2021, and 2022, she invested in. And I, when, when I tell you guys this transformation, trust me when I tell you, you can go from where you are to where you want to be based on information. So now that she's coaching with me, she's getting involved in my coaching programs, she's doing the work. She started doing everything that she was learning in her financial class um, because we offer a financial class. She got her an accountant, and she she's hitting her seven-figure mark this year, and she is budgeting her money. Um, she she works from off-site. Her team runs her facility for her. She's putting systems in place. She's hosting her own conferences. Um, we went to one of her conferences, um, the business roadmap tour. So she's hosting her tour stops. Um, she's speaking at conferences. She's becoming known through her educational background in her community where she works with the teachers in her community. She teaches them how to have curriculum that keep the children engaged. I mean, she's gotten checks, $5,000 checks, you know, to do that for her community now. This is not even including the fact that she has a morning shift and a night shift, her child care center, and oh my God, she's going into location two right now as we speak. And so because information changes where you are to where you want to be, you stop taking it personal and you start being about it with a business mindset. And you realize like, man, I just got to improve me. 
And when I improve me, I can make better choices, I can make better decisions, and my circumstance and situation will improve. And that's why I'm so proud of LaShawn because she decided that she would improve herself. She would improve her system, she would improve her program, and she would bet on herself and invest in herself. And, you know, over these years, I've watched her invest in herself, and I, and she said it, you know. She said, everything I've invested, I've made it back. And for me, that's priceless. And the other day, she was inside of the Blueprint course, and she pulled off the um, the, the start here step where it talks about productivity systems, and she went over it with her director. And she said she learned some things from her director that she would not have known had she not had the productivity system. And she learned how to help her director be more productive to where they're already preparing for the year after this, okay? So I just really think that that is powerful so that you can hear that showing up where information is being offered would change your life. Stepping out on you, investing in you would change how aggressive you are about your goals because when you make an investment, you're not going to see that money go to waste. And also, it's just all about who you connect with. You know, you got to stay in connection with somebody who has um, an idea of what it is that you're trying to do so that they can encourage you and motivate you and give you the tools necessary to do so. And it's also important for leadership and impartation. A lot of us don't understand that that scenario, but that is a spiritual currency. That is a, um, a, 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 a law of prosperity that you may not see physically in cash money, but your connection is cash. So whoever you connect to, it, it dictates the cash that you will experience in your life. And so I know that that's why I stay connected to my amazing, super rich coach, okay? She is super rich, and I'm grateful to be connected to her. And then that anointing, that connection causes me to increase because of the information I'm exposed to. And then um, my, my students stay connected to me and to our community and network, which causes them to increase. So I just want to encourage you that maybe it's not – what you're doing is what you're not doing that you need to address and start making connections that will lead to your next level. LaShawn did, and now she is experiencing a life where she's going on vacation, she's investing in her children, she's upgraded her home, she's created her own office space, she's created her own man cave for her husband, got a new car, and things are going well with them. Uh, money just keep coming to her every single day because she's in position to receive it. Well, all right, guys, I hope that that motivates you to say that if if God did it for LaShawn, most certainly he can do it for you. Well, all right, this is your coach, Andrea Dickerson. And as always, if you manage the child care business that you love, you will love the child care business that you manage. Bye, you guys. <laughs>